Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brittany. I go by Brittany B here on these internet streets. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how I apply my lashes. I know that lashes can be a bit of a frustration um, when you're first getting started with them, but I'm going to demonstrate basically how I put them on, um, what I do, uh, just a little um, tips and tricks that you can do to make sure that they go on safely and securely and nicely for you. I have these lashes that I want to share with you guys. They were gifted to me by a company called, and I really hope that I'm pronouncing this right, Barret Lashes. Um, they are on Amazon and I think these are their 8D Fox Mink Lashes. And they come, let me see if I can get the focus for you guys. I've had them for a while, so I'm missing this out here. All right guys, so here's the footage for all 10 of the lashes. I'm gonna get up close for you so you can see how each of the styles look. get into how to put these lashes on so before I do anything I like to um, put mascara on my lashes some people start with a lash curler I'm gonna be honest I'm completely totally utterly scared of a lash curler like they give me nightmares so I don't use them um, a lot of people wonder do I put mascara on first or do I put it on after the lashes? It is completely your preference and what you want to do first. But for me, I like to apply mascara first. And the reason being is because when I put on eyeshadow, you get the eyeshadow residue all over your eye, like your eyelashes and everything, and it doesn't look good. Another reason is when I put on the false lashes, I don't want to cake up mascara on the lashes. Like, I don't want to do that. So I apply mascara first, and then I go through and put my lashes on. That way, there's no, there's no eyeshadow, like, showing and just caking up on my eyelashes. I don't know if you guys can see it, but my eyelashes look a little ashy. And that's because there's eyeshadow on there. So to get it off, in a way, I put on mascara first. So I'm gonna go ahead, do that. I need to quit talking. I need to quit talking. I'm just gonna let that dry so it won't smudge my face. See why I don't do this on camera? I'm over here. <laughs> Wait, why do I have my mouth open? I do that every time and I'm trying to be neat for the camera my mouth closed but then stuff like this happens trying to be proper <laughs> I think I'm good. Now that the lashes are done and prepped with mascara, I'm gonna pick a lash. And I don't know which ones I wanna pick. If these are falling off, I guess they want me to pick them. So since they're trying to come at me, we're gonna pick the second pair. So when you have your lash, you don't want to automatically just pop it on there. You want to kind of customize it to fit your eye. So what I'm going to do is take scissors and I'm going to cut some of this. Let me see if you can see. I'm going to cut some of this lash off about right there. And I might have to get close up for you guys so you can see. But you don't want this big, where are my tweezers? Bulky lash to go on your eye and then it just doesn't fit. 
And I know for me, let me show you guys. For me, a lash getting in that inner tear duct area is very uncomfortable. So I like to cut some of it off and put the rest, let the rest just kind of flow. That lash is extra. That's So I'm gonna cut it. All right guys, so here's the lash up close and I'm just gonna cut it in that inner tear duct area. I'm gonna take a little bit off there. So now that we have our lashes cut and customized, just for our faces, it is time to apply our lashes so there are different types of lash glues that you can use um, in different colors they come in white clear and black so for today I'm using black I like to use black just because I don't want any other color trying to dry up on my face this is the lash glue that I'm using So after I put the lash adhesive on, I'm gonna let it sit for a few seconds. So the question is, do I apply the lash onto my skin or on the eyelash? You wanna apply it on your skin. So you take it, place it where you want it to lay. And since we let it dry for a little bit, it should stick right on. So I'm just gonna check and make sure everything is pushed up. Cause we don't want a sliding lash. I used to have that problem all the time where it looked like my lashes were sliding up because I wasn't making sure they were on the skin. So I take the tweezers and I push it back a little bit to make sure it's on the skin. And then just kind of take a look, see. So after that, I just kind of take the end and kind of feather it up. And the inner tear duct part, I kind of push it down. Basically so I won't look all surprised and crazy. Get a nice little, little set. So I'm gonna um, apply the lash to the other eye and it's probably dry. <laughs> So I'm gonna put a little bit more on there. All right, so when you're done, you should have some nice applied lashes. They shouldn't be falling off. They shouldn't be looking droopy. They should be attached to your skin and not looking like they're about to slide right off your lashes. Um, this is what they should look like. So when you're ready to take them off, you don't want to snatch them off your eyes. You're going to carefully start at the tip here. Pull. Ooh, that was easy. And it didn't snatch any of my lashes off. 
All right, guys, so I believe that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, please subscribe. I love to have you here. But other than that, you guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.